Hi everyone! I am here today to film a fall tutorial for you using the Modern Renaissance palette. I have nothing on my face right now except for some lip gloss and um, uh, face lotion. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll zoom you in really quickly. So as always, I will be um, priming my eyes using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm going to put that all over the lid, up to the brow. And I will be using my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette that I got my, from my friend Kim, who is one of the greatest people on the planet. And I'm going into the color pre-game, just a matte um, vanilla color. And I'm going to use that to set my primer. I'm just going in on a flat brush. On a fluffy crease brush, I'm going in on the color Faith. It is a matte transition shade. And I'm going right directly into the crease. And I'm using back and forth and circular motions. Next, I am going in on a smaller, kind of compact, um, domed brush on the color Extra Bitter. Looks like this. Directly in the crease, and I'm not going to bring that up too high. Do you ever have that? one person in your life that you can think back to all of your memories with them and it's full of laughter and happiness and maybe a little craziness and they just make you smile that is my friend Kim she just is an awesome person who makes my life better because she's in it So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going into the Modern Renaissance palette. Start with the color Red Ochre. On this same domed brush. And I am going to do a little bit of a halo eye. So I am adding it to the outer corner. and to the inner corner. And then I'm going to sweep it into the crease with whatever's left over on the brush. I have been sick ever since I started work at my new school, so since August with one thing or another, and I'm just hopefully on the tail end of a sinus infection. Which is why part of the reason that I haven't been filming in so long, because I just haven't been feeling good at all. Um, but hopefully that's over and done. Now I'm just using um, a flat, somewhat clean um, brush. This one is from the Naked 2 palette. I, whatever. Um, you can use whatever brush you want. But I'm going into the color Primavera. And I'm placing that in the center of the lid. And then kind of blending it out towards the corners. And then I'm just going to quickly repeat that process um, to make sure that I have 
the intensity that I like on the inner and outer corners. So I'm going back in with red ochre. And then I'm going back into Primavera. And one of the reasons I love the Modern Renaissance palette is it's very, very pigmented, so just tapping it, my brush, into the pan once, and then this is the type of color pigment you get from that. So um, it's easy to overdo it, uh, but I, I've worked with it enough that I just absolutely love it. Um, now I'm going into the color Venetian Red. It's directly beside Red Ochre. And I'm just on the inner, mo innermost corner and outermost corner, giving it a little bit more depth, gently sweeping it up just into the crease and no higher. Now I'm taking that same fluffy crease brush and I'm going back into my Naked Basics. That first vanilla color we used before, um, pre-game. And I am blending out the very top edge. using the brush that came in it. I'm going into the color Blow, which looks like this. Um, it's that other very light highlighting color, and I'm just going directly under the brow. So I will go finish off the rest of my face, and then I will be back to complete the eyes. All right, so I have finished my face, um, and I am going to finish off the eyes. I am going to use my Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner in black. It's like the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. It's got the felt tip, and I'm just going to do a wing. All right, good enough for the guys I go with. I am using this Revlon Brow Fantasy. I hate this color. I'm trying to use it up big time, but um, for now, it'll work, I suppose. Um, and I'm just making short little strokes to fill in my brows. And, of course, no look would be complete without mascara. Um, so I am using the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal, I believe. Yep. Again, recommended to me by my friend Kim. So to demonstrate the power of this mascara, um, I did four coats. And if this spiky, spidery look is not something you prefer, um, maybe just do two coats. But I wanted to demonstrate, like, what this mascara can do because it's fantastic and it reminds me of the Better Than Sex mascara for about half the price. Um, and this is the completed look. So there you have it, a cranberry inspired look for the holidays. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below and feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Peace and love.